Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well today. If you're new here, my name is Laura and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my everyday makeup tutorial. Everyday makeup doesn't necessarily have to be natural glam, so this isn't exactly going to be a natural looking makeup. It is definitely going to be looking a lot more natural than everyday, but I still like to incorporate a couple of touches of glam that are going to make my um, skin and eyes pop. Usually, um, I have oily skin, but I do like to use a moisturizing um, primer to start off. So I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primerizer, and I'm going to focus this on the edges of the face. I like to use a mattifying and pore filling primer that I will focus in the t-zone and kind of on my cheeks where I get very open pores. So for that I'm going in with the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick. And I will just literally apply this on my forehead, down my nose, my cheeks, and on the chin as well. And I will be pressing this in with my fingers, I'm not rubbing it in. I'm going to make sure to press it and really let it fill in those pores. And on an everyday basis, I don't really put foundation on. Um, very rarely that happens. Usually when I do, it's if I'm self-tanned and I want to match my face to my neck. But right now my self-tan is pretty much completely faded. So I'm just going to be sticking to concealer today. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. This one is in the shade 230. I focus this in just areas where I need it. So for me, that is my under eye area and any pimples I may have which is a lot for me so I will be concealing those uh, for concealer as well I also do like to let the concealer sit on the skin for a couple of minutes this obviously depends on the concealer that you're using if you're using a matte concealer like the Tarte Shape Tape I did post a review on this um, a couple videos back so make sure to go and watch that that concealer sets down really quickly so I wouldn't recommend you wait before blending it in but something like the Fenty concealer it does have a bit more uh, play time um, so you can let it sit on the skin a little bit this will make sure that when you go in to blend it with a sponge the sponge is not soaking up too much product because most of the product has already set down if that makes sense so you're getting a lot more pigmentation and coverage from the product. And usually I will blend in the areas of the um, concealer that I applied um, on my pimples with a brush. I feel like then it's just not, not absorbing as much product as a sponge. This is the Real Techniques uh, Buffing Brush. And I just kind of like pat that in. <laughs> And for the under eyes, I'm blending it in with the Real Techniques sponge. And I'm not really blending the concealer onto my lid, I'm gonna kind of leave it as is. Because then uh, the discoloration on my lid will make it look like I have shadow on. But you can definitely do that if you want to. To set the face, um, sometimes I use loose powder, sometimes I use pressed powder, it kind of just depends on what I'm feeling that day. Um, today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder, and I'm going to be setting that with a damp sponge as well. I'm using the Morphe sponge for that. And I'm only going to use this powder to set the under eyes, we're going to be using something else to set the rest of the face. For the rest of my face, uh, you can definitely use that same uh, loose powder to set the rest of the face or not set it at all if you have drier skin, but I'm going to be using a powder foundation just to add a bit more coverage on the areas where I have breakouts. So I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation uh, Powder Foundation. This is the shade 2N1 Desert Beige. I'm going to pick this up on a BH Cosmetics number 3 brush. <music> I 
right, so for bronzer, I'm going in with my absolute favorite, the Marc Jacobs Perfection Powder in the shade 600 Cocoa. So as you guys know, this is also a powder foundation. So this is just going to help add um, a bit more um, coverage, but you can definitely use a regular bronzer if you want to. I'm picking this up on a Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. <music> I do go a bit heavy with my bronzer, just because I like to add a more sun-kissed effect to my skin. For nose contour, I don't really go into like an in-depth nose contour on an everyday basis. I kind of just use the same uh, large contour brush that I used. I'll contour the bottom, like I'll just apply some bronzer at the bottom, and then with whatever's left on the brush, I kind of just like brush it inwards on each side of my nose and then blend into the brow bone the eyes I don't always do my eyes honestly sometimes I'll just leave them like this or I will pop on some mascara and call it a day but Sometimes I do feel like adding a bit of like a pop of color. What I like to do, it's super easy, takes like five seconds, is I'll grab like a colored um, eye pencil. You can also use this with a black or brown eye pencil. I like to do this with colors, especially yellow, because one, it's my favorite color, and two, um, because it really helps to open up the eyes. So what I will do is, this is the uh, MAC Chromographic Eye Pencil. This is just the shade Primary Yellow, which is just the bright yellow. I will literally just go in with the pencil. I will draw a very thin line just on the outer portion of the eye. And then I kind of just slightly wing it out. Nothing too crazy again, just like the tiniest wing possible. And the reason I like to use a pencil is because if you make a mistake, it's super easy to fix. You can smudge it out if you want, you can erase it, you can go on top with a different color or something. But yeah, and then another thing that I will do is I will also bring that same pencil in here and kind of elongate the eye with this. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. I'm gonna pop this in my waterline as well. And now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm going in with the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Alright, so next up is blush. For blush, I'm actually going to be using a palette. Um, this is the Smashbox The Place Face Palette. I used this in my last video. One of my favorite palettes. It's great to travel with as well. I did take this with me to Italy um, over the summer. Uh, you can also use the bronzer in this palette as well. You don't have to use the bronzer that I used. Um, and I do really like this bronzer. It's just a bit too dark and strong for me at the moment. I'm going to go into the Bright Orange Blush. Picking it up on a Smashbox buildable cheek brush. I go heavy with my blush. So you can definitely put on as much as you want, but I personally am pretty heavy handed with it. I also apply it on my chin and on my nose as well. I love doing this. I feel like it adds like a really pretty sunburnt effect. And then whatever's left on the brush, I just kind of run it through my bronzer area because that way it'll tie in everything together. This next step is completely optional. You can go straight into highlighter if you want, but I love fake freckles. I love doing fake freckles, especially on an everyday basis. So for that, I'm going to be going in with this little guy. You probably can't even see it, but it's the Freck Longwear Freckle Makeup. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand, but it's just an online store. And I heard about this from um, It's Likely Makeup. And she raves about this, and it's honestly so beautiful. It's kind of like a brown eyeliner. And then you just randomly do, like, dots all around your face. I like to let mine sit for a little bit 
so that they can stand out. But then other times I won't let them sit. It kind of just, that way you get like a nice variety of deepness. And then I will go in with my finger and just kind of pat everything around. I focus the most product on my nose and then I go less and less as I um, go further away in the face. I'm gonna go back into the Ablaze Face Palette. I'm using the highlighter in the palette. I believe this one is called Sunshine, which is not the pink one, but the more golden one. Picking this up on a Sephora Pro highlight brush. Gonna focus that on my cheekbones. I like re really fell in love with this highlighter when I tried it the other day for my full glam makeup. Like I don't remember why I ever stopped using it. It's so beautiful. Put it on the forehead as well. I'm going to pop some on the brow bone as well. Get a little bit on the inner corner just above where we placed the yellow. I'm going to go down the nose as well. So we're pretty much almost done. I'm going to go ahead and set my face before doing lips and brows. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is just a limited edition packaging one. Just at the brows, I don't really do much in terms of brows on a regular basis. I have pretty full brows naturally, which I got blessed with. <laughs> I go in with the uh, Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is the shade Herb. And I just run this through my brow. As for lips, again, I don't always do this. Sometimes I'll just throw in some lip balm or lip gloss, call it a day. But if I feel like I want to add a bit more, then this is usually what I'll do. So I'll go in with a bit of a darker pencil, lip pencil on the outer portion of the lips and something a bit closer to my natural lip color or lighter in the center. I'm using the uh, MAC Spice Lip Pencil. I'm going to overdraw my lips slightly with this. And for the center of my lips, I'm going to be going in with the Smashbox Lip Liner in the shade Nude Medium. And then usually I'll go in with a lip gloss. Um, I really love the Fenty Beauty lip gloss, but I have this one. Um, this is just like a mini that I got. I really want to test it out. It's the Sephora brand. It's the Ultra Shine Lip Gel. This is the shade Perfect Nude. <laughs> this smells really good. Oh my god, it smells like cake. It smells really good. It's super glossy. I really like this. Why have I never used this before? And it's probably hella cheap too since it's a Sephora brand. Okay, so that is it for today's video, you guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did like it, then make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post. That is it for me today, you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm also go I'm in with the Stila um I just go in with the milk milk